Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk a little bit about listing and listing policies related to variations and offering choice. If you have to put pick and choose or pick your choice or pick your style in a listing, chances are you're violating the rules of variations. Now, I know a lot of people use variations for other things than actually variations. People are getting shut down. They are holding your funds and restricting accounts when you do those sorts of violations. They can be construed and will violate the manipulation aspect in the user agreement. You cannot offer choice. The bad part is there are so many listings that violate the rules that it's hard for anybody to judge on what is or isn't the rules. I see variations on hundreds of things and none of those listings that are called variations are really variations. If you're selling a bunch of videotapes, VHS tapes, and each one is a different title, that is not a variation. That can get you dinged and shut down. If you're selling a whole bunch of different CDs by a whole bunch of different people and you've got them all as variations, again, those can get you shut down. Any listing that says pick one is against the rules. So if you just list a whole bunch of things in the description box, say records. I see it all the time with records. I see it with trading cards. So you do one listing, you list 100 different trading cards or 100 different records in that description. They pick one and buy it or they have to change it to quantity and pick two and then email the buyer. That's all against the rules. If you, let's say, are selling a protector for a cell phone and then actually a cell phone that would not be allowed you have to offer the same thing for those who sell comics and trading cards I know a ton of people use the variation options and they'll do it for comic book issues so let's say you have spider-man one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you list that in one listing as a variation each issue as a variation again that's against the rules each one of those comic books is a different comic a variation on, say, Spider-Man issue one would be a promo versus a regular issue, a newsstand versus a home edition or something, or a different cover. Sometimes the covers can be different on special editions and things. That's a variation because the comic book itself, the insides, everything about it is the same. A variation is not a completely different numbered edition of a different comic book. The same thing goes for trading cards, sports, non-sports, whatever the case may be. If you've got, let's say, a Nolan Ryan card number seven, and you have a variation on that listing for card number 20 with some other player on it, that's not a variation. That's a completely different card. It's got a completely different number, completely different images. That is not a variation. With that logic, anything that's printed on a cardboard, trading card size card would be able to be listed in every single listing for any variation on a trade card. It doesn't work that way. All of those violate the rules. Now, a shirt is totally different. A piece of clothing would be totally different. If you've got a shirt, it could come in small, medium, large. It could come in 10 different colors. It could even come in a slightly different fabric even. If, again, that's the variant you're using. It would still be the exact same cut, same look, same manufacturer. I see people do it with kids' toys. They'll have five, six, seven, eight, nine different kids' toys, all different, made by totally different people, and they use that as a variation. Same thing with t-shirts. If you're doing a variation for anything in clothing and they're different brands, again, that's against the rules. That's all considered manipulation. It, it's basically considered uh, bypassing eBay fees because each one of those items should have been in a different listing. You are abusing the system when you do that so that eBay only gets one single fee from you, even though you're selling a whole bunch of different things. It doesn't matter if the prices are the same or not. That is not a variation at all. This, I promise you, is something that can shut you down because you're ripping off eBay. You are taking money out of their pockets if you're doing pick or choose listings like that. You can't do variations for different items. Those listings are choice. They're offering a choice, which again is not allowed and hasn't been allowed in any list since back into the 80s on any platform that I'm aware of. Let's hop over and look at just a couple things here real quick on eBay that discuss these topics. So we're in eBay and we're just looking at the creating listings with variations. Now, size and color are what they're talking about for a variation. If you're putting different comic books or anything else like that, different action figures, even if they're from the same movie, if they were sold separately, they are different items. 
If you had to buy them separately, they are different items. You can't use a variation as a different action figure, a different this, a different that. If you're listing a variation on a shoe, it's got to be the same base shoe by the same company. You can't mix and match companies at all. That will get you a ding. They can hold your funds for 30 days. They could lock you out of your account. They could suspend you. They could end your account as well. It states that in these pages here on eBay. Be careful with that. It's not for different items when you do this. It's not for 10 different types of toys. It's not for seven different plushes that are all made by a different company of different characters. If you do a variation, say on a plush, the only difference can be that it's like a different size of character. Maybe it's a six inch, a 10 inch, a 15 inch plush. Maybe one plush has a sweater on, one plush doesn't. Those are variations of the same exact figure. You can't put Mickey, Donald, and Goofy as variations in the same listing. Those are different characters. They're not the same characters. Even if it's from the same line, you had to buy them separately. It's not a different variation. It's a totally different figure. Now, when you look up choice, you're going to get to the search manipulation policy. Now, there's multiple reasons why a listing with different items in it using variations would violate the rules. First off, it has to be the same item. It has to be an actual variation. Uh, selling a Luke and a Leia figure in the same listing is not a variation of a Star Wars figure. It's a different figure you bought separately with different UPC codes. So again, it goes into some details in here. Offering a choice of different products in a single listing is not allowed. This includes selling different brands or models in the same listings. For an example, you can't sell an iPhone 6 with an iPhone 7 in the same listing. That would, again, if it's a comic book, that's the same thing. You can't sell two different comic books. Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 2 are two different comic books. That will get you dinged. I've been contacted by many people lately telling me their account was suspended. They had their money held for issues just like this. So I would recommend not doing it. And I don't care at all what other people are doing eBay doesn't enforce this as much as many of the other policies, but when they're reported, and if you've got competition, all they got to do is go out and start reporting you, you could be shut down on these listings. If you keep doing it or you got a whole bunch of listings that violate these sorts of rules, they could shut down all your listings and suspend you, hold your money for 30 days. These are all options that they can do. Don't look at what other people are doing and assuming it's okay. It's just listings they haven't caught, they haven't got around to, or they're prioritizing other things instead of that first. Illegal items are always first. They go after contraband and dangerous items first. They have limited staff from what I've understood. This violation is reportable. It's under listing practices, and then it would be uh, avoiding eBay fees, and then there's choice option. Anybody who can see your listing could report you, so I would honestly not do this. It's going to cost you some trouble, even if you've been doing it for a certain length of time. I know there was a big fiasco when eBay changed and removed the option to put uh, the card number in trading cards. That turned off a lot of people, but it's always been that policy that you can't list different card numbers for uh, variations because it's not a variation on, on the card. It's a totally different card with totally different graphics, a totally different number. It'd be like selling Nikes and Reeboks in the same exact listing as a variation of a tennis shoe. That cannot be done. You can't do that. Listing uh, one player on a sports card with a bunch of other players, again, that's not how it works. You have to have a variation on the same card. If you're listing card number one, any variation has to be a variation of just card one. It just doesn't work that way. I would read through here to make sure that you aren't violating any of the rules. Uh, they can suspend your account. They can restrict it. They can ban or, or bury all of your items. You will still have to pay the fees for these as well too if you're doing this. So pay attention to it, just like the duplicate listing policy. In those cases, if you've got a whole bunch of identical items, list them in the same listing. If they have different condition, that's a different story. So be careful in how you do it. Just because a thousand other people on eBay are violating the variations rules doesn't mean that you won't get in trouble for doing just that as well. Tens of thousands of listings are added probably every single hour on eBay. So it's a constant thing that they have to catch, I'm sure. If you do reselling as a business to feed yourself, to support your wife, your kids, your family, whoever you are supporting, 
don't do this. This can sink you. This is a violation of the rules. Just to save a few cents. There's also some price manipulation that goes around with uh, variations, which can shut you down even quicker. So you've just got to read the policy and follow the policy. A variation has to be a variation. It cannot be a different item at all. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.